What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and some more Hail Caesar faction reviews. So we're moving right along and today we're taking a look at the Khazars, which is a pretty fun faction, especially if you love cavalry, then this is definitely a worthy army to look at. And some interesting breakdowns here as well. So cavalry has to be 75% or more of the army, so you know it's, again, cavalry centric here. And you could actually even go 100% as well. And then a sub requirement here of the cavalry so horse archers or light cavalry have to be at least half of the cavalry units that you field there are some other uh, heavy cavalry available though so definitely we'll, we'll talk about those infantry can be up to 25 percent there's some decent stuff here as well but again obviously the focus is on cavalry divisions pretty typical there and then skirmishers uh half as many uh skirmisher units as they contain um non-skirmisher infantry so Jumping right in, it's a pretty decent sized list as well. So right at the top here, we have a pretty neat heavy cavalry uh, unit here. So the Khazar heavy cavalry armed with spears and bows. So again, always fun when you have this like toolbox unit that um, definitely can hit hard just by being heavy cavalry, but also gives you that ranged option as well. So when they're clocking in at 32 points base here, we can pay one point without any other restrictions um, to upgrade them to cataphracts and then one other, this is a little bit more expensive, certainly three point upgrades to give uh, either the heavy or cataphract uh, cavalry, the contos and bows as well. So if you want to bump up the offensive firepower a little bit more as well. And it's nice that you can go either route with that. You don't necessarily have to only give that to cataphract. So again, pretty useful unit all around there. Now we do get another flavor of bow unit here for cavalry little less uh, focused on combat, although still, you know, seven dice on clash is nothing to sneeze at, but they bump the ranged stat, the long range stat up to three, which is pretty, pretty spicy as well in a heavy cavalry uh, unit. So clocking in at 31 points there, again, three for the long range, and we have an upgrade here. So the Arcea uh, cavalry, and we can upgrade them to cataphracts as well for another point. So just interesting option there. So, but having a tank bow armed unit, I guess, is, is pretty cool for cavalry. So then we jump into the light cavalry flavors of things light and um, some of the uh, archer cavalry as well that we have to um, take anyway, or at least have 50%. So we can run uh, Guz, Burtas, or Turk light cavalry armed with spears, javelins, and bows as small units. So again, another great all-round unit that can do multiple things, but again, light cavalry package, but yet another long-range uh, weapon here with two for the long-range stats, and we do get Feign Flight for 21 points. And again, outside of the army restrictions, really, there's hardly any restrictions um, in this uh, in this whole list except for this one right here, really. And so that's just nice that we can have a lot of these other special abilities and even just decent all-round units with a lot of potential in the whatever quantities we can you know afford to field. So then we also get Khazar or Arcea horse archers as small units, and here we get Parthian shot. Again, 19 points. Not not these guys aren't here to get into combat, so but again, yet another solid long-range option. And just more pew pew. So really Every single unit we've talked about so far has a long-range option in this list, so this is going to be a nasty, nasty list where they're definitely going to put wounds on you, uh, on, on, on the opponent, uh, before they really even get uh, into combat. So, And then if they have successful charges and put those extra few damage on, there's going to be, it's going to be pretty easy for them to push units into... Uh, you know, to the point where they're they're shaking and things like that, and you know, possibly even just route and get get on out of there. So very very nasty stuff here so far. So that is it for the cavalry. Again, we have to have a lot of the light and horse archer cavalry in particular, but still, you know, definitely load up as much on the heavy cavalry I think as possible just for that. Just sledgehammer. We don't really need any special rules on that unit. Now. If we do decide to run infantry, and again, we don't have to, we even here still get uh, some pretty solid options. So we get heavy infantry of all things as well. Not always expected, maybe in a cavalry-centric list. But we can only have one of them. So again, I always like to, you know, if, if, if it's one of those, it's usually a pretty special unit or pretty, pretty above average. And here it's definitely the case. So we have heavy infantry with spears and or javelins, the one unit. 
heavy infantry profile, but we get fierce fighters for that one unit. We might as well take it if we're going to run infantry, right? Why, why leave that at home? So good stuff there. Then medium infantry with spears and or javelins, just very generic here. And again, discount, of course, 23 points. So compared to a lot of the other more expensive stuff above, and we can actually reduce them, which again, very nice discount there. Save three points. If you want to just bump them down to levies, if you want to go that route, just to fill out some space, I guess. Uh, light infantry archers as well, so yet more long-range nastiness. This is a normal size unit as well. And then the basic skirmisher package here, so a javelin unit and a bow unit as small units. 11 and 12 points, again, standard stuff there, but yet more options for just missile uh, fire, missile harassment. So, again, very easy, I think, to pile on lots and lots of damage onto the opponent and just really weaken them so that when your heavy hitters get in there, your, your heavy cavalry, and even potentially light cavalry finishing off some things, um, or even that, that one heavy infantry unit, you you have, you've you have done so much work already heavy lifting with your various archer units, and that includes, again, some of the, the first units that we talked about, these heavy cavalry uh, and even the light cavalry, just, you know, everything shoots essentially in this list. So, you know, it shouldn't be too hard to with decent rolling, push uh, units to the breaking, enemy units to the breaking point, and punch holes in their lines, and then do what Light Cavalry does and all those other types of things. You know, get those flank charges, get rear charges, and just completely mess them up. And we get a solid standard leadership eight here across the board for our commanders and the general. So all around a pretty nasty list, I think, if you really go all in on what is you know, the, the focus here, I would still feel a smidgen of infantry just to have, um, have that, but, uh, and you just take advantage of that nice heavy infantry unit there and just some more skirmishers and things like that for their, for their intended battlefield role, but really just maximizing again, the various cavalry elements of the list can be absolutely devastating and just the sheer mobility of that. So, you know, lots of damage very fast, hopefully with the archers, uh, and all the various shooting, Elements and then just punching home and punching a hole through their lines, hopefully, and then just getting them into increasingly bad situations and mopping up an enemy unit. So, or not an enemy, but a whole enemy army. So, the Khazars, definitely a fun one. Um, not sure who would really make the appropriate models for that, but I'm sure there's plenty out there. If you know, drop us a comment on that, guys. If you've run the Khazars, uh, for Hail Caesar, let us know how that's gone and what uh, types of armies you've run up against and how that's all worked out for you and any notable choices you've made in how you've selected your army. So leave us a comment there, guys. Like and subscribe. Also, with the new edition of Hail Caesar on the horizon, um, if you're looking to get uh, take advantage of some of those sales that Warlord's doing, check out the link in the pinned comment. Head over to Warlord from that. Anything you pick up, that'll help us uh, help support the channel a little bit and we Appreciate anybody who's done, uh, done that. So check that out, guys. Like and subscribe. We'll have more Hail Caesar for you very soon.